Hi everybody, it's Susan just putting together a little bit of a video here on a really cute project that is a vintage shabby chic cottage. I really love the way this came out. It was a wooden, a very small wooden bird house and um, I painted it with some opaque outdoor paint called Calypso Sky and that's by Folk Art. And getting the shabby chic look, I had brushed with my finger some um, acrylic dauber paint. Uh, the color is called Snow Cap. And on top of that, I used some waterfall stickles, just scribbled it all around the entire house. And the very top peak of the house here is a champagne color uh, Wild Orchid Crafts um, seam binding that I had um, used the... Um, the technique that I had made um, how to gather your uh, seam binding without sewing. And then I have the beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts here. Just beautiful, all cascaded down at the bottom. And over here, if you can see this one right here, that's a hydrangea folded to um, give you the effect of like a blooming rose with another rose coming out of it. And those baby roses are just gorgeous. These are my favorite flowers. I adore them. The calla lilies are so beautiful. The baby roses, just all of them. And then um, those are some rhinestones um, by Queen and Company. You get those for a dollar at Michael's. And that's really basically it. I, this, uh, the pink flower here was glimmer misted because I needed a pink flower and I didn't have one so I glimmer misted that um, with a Tutti Frutti uh, by Tattered Angels and um, that's basically the house it's really cute I did not paint the bottom because I had a feeling that I may put some moss on that and possibly um, attach that to another piece of wood and maybe do like a little garden type of effect like I've done some some items in the past. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's bending here but there's also from Wild Orchid Crafts those beautiful green skeleton leaves that I had put behind the flowers just to accent them somewhat once they're sticking out of the uh, corners if you can see that and it just looks really pretty from the side. It's just a hint of a leaf and I just love those and they're so well made they don't fall apart I mean I have some uh, from I don't even know where I got them from a really long time ago the minute you touch them they cave in but these you can work really well with them and glimmer miss them and they just they're just a great quality so if you're interested in any of these flowers or the seam binding or the skeleton leaves you could check out www.wildorchidcrafts.com They've got an array of beautiful items there. Great selection for crafting, home decor, and then some. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and my project of the Shabby Chic Cottage, which is not really a cottage, it's a birdhouse, but I want it to be a cottage. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day all. Bye.